Seas of Emotions by Camille Child and Brian Jones. Have you ever noticed how someone shows a feeling in their eyes, face, or body? It can be quite revealing. Have you ever seen how raised brows or an open mouth look? When we're in situations, we can read expressions like a book. Pay attention to your body, how it moves when you feel. Do you clench your hands and fists or stand up tall and squeal? Let's name our emotions through the alphabet. We'll see kids dealing with feelings with family, friends, and pets. A is for ashamed. Adam feels ashamed looking down and away from Dad. He's sorry for what he did. His actions were hurtful and bad. B is for bored. Brittany feels bored, eyes half closed and hands on chin. It's dull to sell lemonade when no one's buying in. C is for confused. Chloe feels confused in a sandbox trying to play. Her palms are up and eyebrows raised, puzzled that Billy looks like Ray. D is for distracted. Daisy is distracted, staring intently at her phone. She doesn't see Ruffles licking her plate instead of chewing on his bone. E is for embarrassed. Evan feels embarrassed. His red cheeks burn as he falls down. When other kids laugh and tease him, he feels shy and shows a frown. F is for frustrated. Francesca feels frustrated. She lost a game to Phil. She slaps her head and bites her lip, but play again she will. G is for guilty. Greg feels guilty. See his blushing face. He hangs his head and looks down, cause he broke his grandma's face. H is for hopeful. Harriet feels hopeful. Her friend happily waters a seed. She clasps her hands and wishes for a flower, not a weed. I is for impatient. Isaac feels impatient. He makes a pouty face. Instead of waiting in this line, he'd pick any other place. J is for joyful. Jones feels joyful. He grins widely with his bike. We all feel happy when we exercise and spend time with people we like. K is for kind. Kira is kind, helping an old man at the store. She feels so good and smiles, it doesn't feel like a chore. L is for lonely. Larry feels lonely, shoulders slumped and looking sad. He eats his lunch all alone, a friend would make him glad. M is for mad. Mark is mad, he grits his teeth and knits his brow. Fighting with his sister, he wants that controller now. N is for nervous. Nellie is nervous, a tense look upon her face. She worries that making a mistake would be a big disgrace. O is for overwhelmed. Olivia feels overwhelmed. Her hands upon her face show distress. All this homework is due tomorrow. Oh my, what a mess. P is for proud. Paul is proud. He holds his chin up high. He baked these muffins by himself. Mmm, I'd like to try. Q is for quiet. Quincy is quiet. Shh, don't make a sound. A library is not a place for noisy kids to be found. R is for relaxed. Rowan feels relaxed. He smiles gently and reclines. His body's loose. It's summertime. It feels good when the sun shines. S is for sad. 
Sandy feels sad. Her mouth curls down in a frown. Her eyes droop and tear as she sees her ice cream flipped upside down. T is for thankful. Tim is thankful. He got a present from a friend. He smiles and his heart feels warm. He hopes this is a trend. U is for uncomfortable. Ursula feels uncomfortable. She's afraid and doesn't want a shot. Eyebrows raised and mouth stretched, but she knows it will help a lot. B is for vulnerable. Veronica feels vulnerable. With a broken ankle, she can't do much. Her body hunches in when she sees stairs and someone else must be her crutch. W is for worry. Will feels worried. His best friend Sparky is his pet. He bites his fingernails nervously while Sparky sees the vet. X is for XOXO. Xavier feels XOXO. He smiles as he cuddles his cat. He loves to spend time with his family. His cat loves the attention and a pat. Y is for yucky. Yarev feels yucky, disgusted with his tongue out. But when eating at the table, it's never polite to pout. Z is for zippy. Zoe feels zippy. Her smile and arms are wide. She's so excited, screaming, yay, on the roller coaster ride. We all have emotions. None of them are bad. Parents, kids, teachers, humans can feel sad one minute, then glad. The next time you have strong feelings, it can help a lot to take five deep breaths and count to ten until the feeling of calm is caught. Feelings come and go like clouds moving across the skies. You can tell a lot by looking at people's faces bodies and eyes.